Okay. This might get some people to unsubscribe. But you gotta hear this, man. Okay. You gotta hear this, man. I need something to be understood pretty clearly today. Um, some of y'all are praying for things to be removed from you that you still in agreement with. Uh, there are spirits that have been attached to your life. There are demonic presences that you have acknowledged are assigned to kill your purpose and your calling. But you won't step away from the things that are keeping you bonded with them. Um, there might be a person. Friends. Yeah. Friends. Jobs. Relationships. You name it. There might be an occupation whatever that environment is there's a scene that's being set for whatever it's the devil is trying to do to remain in your life and until you cut that off until you cut out the source of what's keeping you connected to whatever that is you won't experience the breakthrough that you yeah. want um there were specific demons that jesus casted out of people that nobody else could and Ooh. Yes, he was the son of God, but he even explained that that was not why. It was because of faith. Your faith is going to be displayed by your actions. You can say as much as you want to. I can stand in front. It's true. Say as much as you want. I'll pretend as much as you want. But one day, hey, I always think about it like one day, it don't matter like how much time it might take. But one day the truth will come out. Truth will come out at the end. That's true. In front of y'all right now and give y'all an hour long message that might resonate with y'all's hearts. But if I don't have faith that what I'm saying is true, the fruits of my labor won't be evident. Like I can give y'all a great word every single day. But if I don't believe in the stuff I'm saying, you gonna look at my life and be like, dang, he's saying good stuff, but I just don't oh, see you. Okay. And that's because the devil doesn't leave a place that he's welcomed in. If he assigns the spirit to your life, understand that that spirit is gonna keep coming your way until you break the cycle, <laughs> until True. you pass the test. And it that's may true. come to you in different forms. It may come to you in the same way, but you're gonna keep- And, and, and the funny part is that we, sometimes we, we, we blame it on God. Uh, because God doesn't get it removed. But we don't take the steps. Okay, we don't take the steps to get that thing removed out of our life. For God to start working with us. Because we don't want to take the... Whatever it is, we just don't want to take the first step. Okay, and God sees that. God sees that. It's even the same test until you pass you know we hesitate sometimes. sometimes god allows for us to go through certain things so that we can be ready once we reach the destination that he has planned out for us but also understand that the promised place that he has for your life you can mess that up like it's not guaranteed that no matter what i do no matter how many times i screw up that this one place is just waiting on me at the end of my life no there would be no reason for grace and mercy if that was the case moses sure. ruined his promise okay right moses right. was initially a part of the plan to reach the promised land he was delivering his people out of egypt and because of his disobedience he displayed acts of doubt and placing you know what I'm saying? Other things before God to where the wrath of God came down on him in a way that prevented him from seeing the promised land. So now Joshua had to carry out the purpose and the calling of leading the children of Israel to the promised land. But understand that leading up to that, because of the because of the chain of events of disobedience, the children of Israel in hmm. Leviticus, I want to say. Yeah, Leviticus, Leviticus because yeah. Exodus explain you know the plays and all of that so it, it was it was in leviticus and it also talks about it heavily in hebrews oh, okay. that the children of israel hey, think, wandered okay yeah, yeah i think he has his uh he got some like uh bible or something like he read it for out. 40 years because they had no faith obviously so they had seen years. god work signs miracles and wonders so they yeah. knew that he was real but years, faith is not time. just I might say it easily but when it says that faith is the evidence of believing in the things that we cannot see, it says the evidence. What is the evidence of belief? Your actions.
Okay, so it's not just the belief, it's the evidence of your belief. Your evidence is defined by what do you do to show, okay, I trust him even though I don't see. You know, some of y'all feel like, okay, I get a lot of males coming to me and saying, I feel like I'm dealing with a woman who's struggling with a Jezebel spirit. Cool. What are you doing to terminate That's the contract? You know what I'm saying? I get a lot of women coming to me that are saying, Oh, you know, I'm dealing with a man who's manipulative. He's he's mentally abusive or X, Y, Z. And by, by all means, I feel for you. I completely empathize with you and I'm not shoving your feelings aside. But at a certain point, we have to look in the mirror and ask ourselves, if this situation is harming me, why am I still in it? There's a lot of things that we uh, have to... I mean, it could be kids, you know, it could be uh, probably the woman is not self um how how would you say the word like self uh enough or self uh i don't i don't know the word exactly but like she's not able to support fully support himself herself okay so i think maybe that's one of the reasons it could be other reason but normally that's that's the reason why a woman stays in such relationship after they you know they they have these encounters to rewire our brains on because we have connected the dots to create an equation that makes no sense that the things that are unhealthy for us are the things that we need to stick through some stuff god is not calling you to stick through some stuff god is calling you to walk away from if you're in a relationship it, like, that tempts you to me. sexual immorality on a level that you feel is that you just cannot withstand walk away from it it's not your job to try to fix that person. Please stop trying to fix people who don't want to be fixed. And that's some true. people will talk to you like they want to be fixed to keep you yeah, around. That's true. You know what? Because always, like me personally, I always try when I when I know like there is some relationship that I need to get over for whatever reason I feel like it. I just cut them off completely. I don't tell them nothing. I do not message them. I, I, I do nothing, bro. And like if I sit on the street, I just like say hi and just be on my way. Okay, I just do it uh, because I know that if I like take too much to think about it, like if I think of too much, I'm not gonna do it. Okay, and that's gonna hurt my 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 understanding, my overall understanding. I try to be as I, I don't know how to say it, but I try to be as forward as possible. You now if I even if I have to block that person, I just do it. Okay, I just do it. And then I'll think about it. Okay, because because again, it takes too much time to actually like get something done when you think about it too much. Do not think about it. Just cut them off. Whoever it is, cut them off, bro. Cut them off. It might hurt. No, it will hurt. Okay, because otherwise <laughs> you wouldn't you wouldn't be stuck in that situation. But it's worth it. It's gonna be worth. Trust God. All right, but a person's actions are gonna show you whether or not they want to be fixed. <laughs> In the Word of God, it specifically shows us through multiple occasions that only a person who has a heart of repentance can be delivered if they're operating within a demonic spirit. A person who's still in agreement with that spirit. You can't do nothing but pray for them, for, for them from a distance. You're not going to cast a demon out of a person who doesn't want to release it. Okay? So whether this person has to let go of fear, childhood trauma, whether they have to repent for certain things they did to come into agreement with that, that person has to get those things together. And if you're that person and you're struggling with your deliverance, that's what it is. I highly recommend going to therapy. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes going to therapy may seem like, oh, like, I don't need this. Really? God like, is going to get me through it. Or? Yeah, he's going to get you through it. But he also created therapy so that he can place things in front of you by using someone as a vessel. Okay. Therapists are a vessel. God gave them the innate ability to decipher what you have going on. I always on. have this feeling right, they have of the uh, whenever there is something like spiritually, like you have to treat that with someone from church that's uh, in a higher position than you or someone that's uh you know more barren um on faith stuff you know i would say uh not really therapy or some psychologist i don't know why but that's how i feel it that's how i feel it
the proper education to know this person is dealing with X, Y, Z. Alright, you don't have to believe every diagnosis they give you, but it is helpful because you get to see and reflect on the things that are going on with you and you get to uproot problems. So now that you know what to take to God, sometimes God places you in certain situations so that you can get the help just to come back to him. But he's yeah. not going to spoon feed you everything because there's no growth in that. He's a just God. And it would be unjust if he if he carried you around and was a crutch to you your entire life. At a certain point, you know what I'm saying, you got to step out. You got to step out and know that he's protecting you, know that he's still with you. Oh. Even though he may not necessarily be doing it for you, he's still doing it with you. So I encourage all of y'all, man, if you feel like you have stuff that's chaining you down and holding you hostage, reevaluate the situation. Ask yourself, what did you come into agreement with? What is it that you're still in agreement with through your actions that is not resonating with your deliverance? You could be in a relationship or you We're could be dealing with a breakup yeah. with a person that you feel like, dang, I should be over this person by now, but you still having sex with them. Ooh. Okay. So why do you think that you have an experienced deliverance? You could be try try trying to come into a better financial situation, Ooh. but you still not investing. You could be trying to come into a, a, a higher paying job, but you scared to step out on faith by quitting the one you're working right now. It's all about how much you want it. And faith is the evidence of the belief in things that we do not see. Your evidence will be in your actions. If you want to argue with that, I just don't know what to tell you. But I hope that this blesses something.